You've probably heard about the Chinese spy balloon that got shot down off the coast of South Carolina. But did you know it came in through Idaho from Canada? That's right, the CCP or the Chinese Communist Party, they've been spying on America. But the real truth is they've been spying much longer and in much different ways than most people want to grasp. Today, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna tell you what the bigger plan is and we're even gonna tell you what some folks are doing to fight back right from here in the good old USA. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, my name is Ben. Let's get right to it. I'm sure you've seen the memes, you've seen the videos, you saw the balloon get shot down. You know we had a CCP surveillance balloon going across our great nation here in the United States. Uh, on Friday, uh, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said this about the balloon. It is a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes. Affected by the westerlies and with limited self-steering capability, the airship deviated far from its planned course. Chinese side regrets the unintended entry of the airship into the U.S. airspace due to force majeure. Pay attention to that. The Chinese side will continue communicating with the U.S. side, properly handle this unexpected situation caused by force majeure. Now, very interesting. Does this not sound like broken English? Kind of weird that's their spokesperson, but I digress. Here's the thing. China has been infiltrating countries for years and years and years for all kinds of reasons. There's also some very interesting stuff with surveillance in Canada. We're not gonna get to in this video, but China already has a blueprint on how to infiltrate a country. They did it to Canada um, back in the 90s. So are we gonna prevent them from taking over our country? How do they do this? Well, we're not all gonna be speaking Mandarin tomorrow. This is why China surveils, because they look for the weaknesses and vulnerabilities, and that's where they attack. They're not gonna do it through war. They're not gonna do it through secret spy games where they're assassinating people in America. They're gonna do it through markets, and they're gonna look for our weak points. So you may have heard the term force majeure before. Force majeure means greater force. It means something outside of the normal and unforeseen event. Now, you may have heard this phrase recently because it's contained in almost every single centralized exchange terms of service. Unforeseen event, I spent all your money. I'm looking at you, Sam. Now, I said that China has infiltrated Canada. Back in the 90s, 25% of Vancouver was bought by Li Ka-shing, a tycoon in Hong Kong working for the CCP. China infiltrated Canada in many ways back in the 90s. One thing that they did, they infiltrated a surveillance company. What they did was they had someone buy one of the largest surveillance companies in Canada, and then that entity knew they were selling it to China. For years, China was surveilling all over Canada with closed circuit cameras and security cameras, and no one knew it was China behind the wheel. So let's just say they have a tendency. So no surprise, this came in from Canada. Uh, guys, where's Vancouver? Right above Washington. Where did the balloon come from? Canada into Idaho. Actually, no, it came in through Montana. It came right here, all the way through Missouri, South Carolina, and that's when some great American pilots went and shot that thing down. I mean, you ever had to stare down the face of a surveillance balloon, you know that you are really the top gun. Yeah, that was really stupid. Guys, it's not the first time a Chinese spy balloon has entered U.S. airspace, Pentagon said, noting at least three times during the previous administration and once at the beginning of this administration, but never for this duration of time. It never was able to make a full-scale trip across the United States. Now, weird they shot it off the coast of South Carolina, isn't it? Pretty strange. We could have shot it down the whole time. Why didn't we? We finally scrambled the jets when the mission was over. Makes no sense. This was a PRC surveillance balloon, a senior administration official said. Surveillance balloon purposely traversed the United States and Canada, and we are confident it was seeking to monitor sensitive military sites. That's key. Its route over the United States near many potentially sensitive sites contradicts the PRC government explanation that it is a weather balloon. Why would China launch a weather balloon in Canada? How does the Canadian weather affect China? How does 
the weather in Montana affect China? Guys, it, it makes no sense. And something else to keep in mind is the Pentagon is not releasing what spy tools were on the balloon. They're keeping it close to the vest, but tensions are rising. It reminds me of a uh, coffeezilla. Uh, coffeezilla created a fake NFT so he could entrap in an NFT influencer. He created his own story. I'm not saying it's bad. Surely I'm an NFT influencer sucks. Uh, but Coffeezilla these days, he said, you know what? I'm going to create my own story here. And it was kind of cool. I like what he did there. But the fact is China has just created their own story. They've launched a weather balloon and now we're having tension with China. Did they attempt to entrap us into some kind of conflict? Don't know. Only time will tell. But they're, they're basically now coming at us with a problem they created. So China's responded with fury over the U.S. military action, saying on Sunday that it reserves the right to deal with similar situations going forward. The U.S. used force to attack our civilian unmanned airship, which is an obvious overreaction. We express solemn protest against this move by the U.S. side. Why do they keep saying by the U.S. side? That sounds so weird. China's defense ministry spokesperson Tan Cafe said in a statement on Sunday afternoon local time. China's foreign ministry has accused U.S. of overreacting and seriously violating international practice. <laughs> you launched a spy balloon, China. Uh, breaking news, China can suck it. U.S. officials have pushed back on China's repeated claims. The down balloon was simply for civilian use and had made its way into American airspace by accident. And of course, I do have to say, we love Chinese people. Chinese citizens are great. Uh, Chinese Americans, absolutely great. But the issue is with the government. The issue is with the CCP. So I'll say the word China, but obviously I'm talking about the leadership there. It begs the question, if this was just a weather balloon like they claim, why are they so upset? It's not proprietary technology or anything like that. Everybody's got weather balloons, right? Guys, and these aren't the only balloons, okay? In a follow-up statement Sunday, Beijing appeared to link the device to companies rather than its government. But yet, then they declined to tell us who these entities or companies are, always playing close to the vest. We don't know who manufactured these balloons. Maybe Bozo the Clown, I'm not sure. On Monday, Beijing admitted a second balloon in recent days, seriously deviated from its planned course and entered the skies over Latin America and the Caribbean by mistake. Guys, we're in the middle of the movie Independence Day, where all of those ships are over the cities. This time, they're Chinese balloons. I guess maybe we'll have to be lighting some fires and kicking some tires. The U.S. meanwhile has presented details that frame the incident as part of a surveillance effort powered by a fleet of Chinese spy balloons. It says have been spotted across five continents over the past several years. If it's a mistake, why are the balloons over Latin America? But the truth is, it's crazy. They're saying their weather balloons, highly advanced, and yet they can't stay on course. Kind of weird. You would think a weather balloon would know the way the wind was blowing. Uh, but five continents is too much. And a rumor going around right now about a third weather balloon over the United States. We'll have to see if it's true. Everybody's looking up at the sky right now. Uh, don't forget to check out bitboycrypto.com. This is where you can get access to everything that we have as a company. There he is, the great looking Ben Armstrong. That's me. Uh, guys, if you want to check out our merch, you can click merch. Um, the cruise is closed, so we're going on a cruise a couple months with the Bit Squad. Check out our academy. Check out, uh, you want to contact us, send in a resume. Do that all on bitboycrypto.com, as well as get access to all of our socials. And of course, don't forget to check out our book, Catching Up to Crypto. Uh, it is a bestseller on Amazon in several different categories. Just got done with the book tour. Super excited about it. All right, guys. The officials said a second balloon spotted over Central and South America was another PRC surveillance balloon and bore similar technical characteristics to the one that flew over the U.S. The PRC is the People's Republic of China, by the way. Uh, both balloons also carry surveillance equipment not usually associated with standard meteorological activities or civilian research. So it's got equipment on it that we don't know what it is, and it's not normally associated with weather balloons. Interesting. Well, here we go. Breaking. U.S. officials believe there could be a third Chinese spy balloon, which is outside the U.S. That's right, guys. A third balloon was spotted in Delaware. What a great opportunity to take care of this one before it enters our airspace. You know, would seem to be pretty common sense. 
Of course, we do know there's all kinds of rumors about Joe Biden's uh, connections with China. We're going to leave that alone for now, um, but we may come to it later. So now we get into what's really happening here. China trying to infiltrate America. Guys, according to the USDA, Chinese landowners control approximately 383,000 acres of U.S. farmland, and their investments are growing. Fox Business's Lydia Hu reported on Monday, Chinese ownership of U.S. farmland jumped more than 20-fold in a decade from 81 million in 2010 to nearly 1.9 billion in 2021. Remember what I told you about Vancouver? Vancouver, they went in, Li Kaohsiung on behalf of the CCP, bought 25% of Vancouver in one swoop. Why? Business ownership to continue to infiltrate. The plan was to go from Canada to the United States markets. It's much easier to infiltrate the stock market from Canada than it is from China. Uh, they're banned from trading here. So now what we're starting to see is they're not only wanting to go financial markets, farmland. Very interesting, right? What is on farmland? Crops. What do crops have to do with? The food supply. That's right. They're trying to get property not only close to military installments, a lot of them, but additionally, 383,000 acres. Man, I tell you what, they're not slowing down either. 81 million to 2 billion almost in 11 years. I'm not that great at math, but I think that's about a uh, 25x. They're getting serious. So 383,000 is not enough to control the food supply. But what about a million? What about 2 million? If they kept growing at the same rate, they'd have like 8 million acres of land. I don't even know how many acres are in America, but uh, the, the point is they're trying to control a significant portion of it. Now, here's where we get to the good part. People are fighting back. Who pointed out that the Fufang Group, a China-based chemical manufacturing company, bought 300 acres of land for a corn mill in Grand Forks, North Dakota? The location is only 12 miles away from the Grand Forks Air Base, home to U.S. intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance units and top secret drone technology. Huh, very interesting. I wonder what technology they're using with these weather balloons because I think they're controlling the path. These could actually be guided by drones in some way. But check this out. This is from Brian Inten on Twitter. He says, every seat taken in Grand Forks, North Dakota City Council meeting, residents are determined to keep Chinese-owned Fufang corn mill out of their city and away from Air Force Base. Corn mill. Remember, looks like they'll win that battle, but the concern remains that Fufang owns 300 acres here. But look at that, a packed house. It looks like a, a, a BitBoy crypto meetup. They're all here, proud patriots, American citizens from North Dakota to stop the CCP from moving in. There's no such thing as a private company in China. They're all owned by the government. They're swinging all of their influence. Now, another thing to think about here that's interesting, uh, not only are these people great, shout out to every single person here that was uh, at that council meeting to prevent this from happening. This is a model for what we can do when things like this pop up in our cities and our towns uh, because they will be coming to a place near you, especially if you live near farmland. Now, here's another interesting thing. You know, I've been thinking about how much land there is in America. They say, I think 90% of America is unused. When you look at the map, like there's nothing in Idaho, nothing in Montana, nothing in Wyoming, nothing in North Dakota, nothing in South Dakota. But the fact is, one day, all of our food is gonna be synthetic. What's going to happen when all of our food is synthetic? It may be 100 years from now. China's always in it for the long plays. What happens to all the farmland? Suddenly, it becomes livable land for the American population because there's nothing else to do there so they can bring in shopping malls or shopping districts, uh, grow cities, grow towns. It's a model we've seen in other places. And the fact is, it's pretty scary to think if they're accumulating all this land everywhere could also be a real estate play for down the road. When you look at what they did in Vancouver, they bought the city. What if the farmland they own became a city? They own 100% of it, and that is downright terrifying. So I want you guys, let me know down below in the comments, what's scarier, Sam Bayman frees Avro or a Chinese surveillance balloon? Which one would scare you more if you saw it floating in the air 
definitely put those comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. What is China's play? Did we nail it? Or do you think there's a different plan? Drop that down below in the comments. But one thing's for sure. Love it when people fight back. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.